So you guys know Ray Dalio, right? One of the best investors of all time, most influential minds of all time as well. And he's head of Bridgewater Associates, one of the best hedge funds of all time. No need to really introduce Ray Dalio. But what we do need to do, guys, is cover his top 10 stock market holdings right now heading into 2024. So we're going to run through these stocks, how many shares he owns, the market value of his you know, shares that he owns. So if you all find value, hit that like button make sure to subscribe and guys don't forget to follow me on x as well you might as well do that at stocks talk stocks that is linked down below guys and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so let me actually hop over here to this website guys no need to waste any time on the charts today but let's dive into this website here and talk about again ray dalio's top 10 stock market holdings right now as we're slowly wrapping up 2023 we're actually less than three weeks away i know it's crazy but we're less than three weeks away from 2024 so again bridgewater associates is the hedge fund that ray dalio is the head of essentially right and this is one of the best hedge funds of all time we're not going to get into the stats of the hedge fund or anything like that but just know ray dalio has done well for himself and Bridgewater Associates obviously has done very well as well. So I want to break down these top stocks that he owns, the, the the shares, the market value, how much of his portfolio is in each of these stocks. So let's just dive into it. So the first one that we have here is IEMG. Let me actually bring my face here so we don't spoil all the other names here, guys. So IEMG is actually an emerging markets ETF. So the first position he has, the biggest position is an ETF. So he's making a bet on emerging markets and he owns, let's see, 917 million shares of this particular ETF. Actually, no, excuse me, 19 million shares of this ETF. I've read the wrong column there, which that totals about $912 million. And that's currently about 5.5% of his portfolio. And he recently added more to this emerging market ETF. He added 1.2 million shares recently as of the last 13F filing, which is pretty, pretty um, interesting here if you ask me. So number one, emerging markets. Dalio is very bullish on emerging markets. That's 5.5% of his portfolio. Now under that, we have IVV, another ETF here. You guys can see this is, let me see, what is it exactly? The core S&P 500 ETF, the iShares S&P 500 ETF. Essentially, he owns over 2 million shares of that ETF, $877 million is the market value, and that is roughly 5.3% of his portfolio right now, and he actually added more to it uh, recently. He added 31,000 shares as of the last 13F filing. So pretty interesting here, guys. Top two positions for Dalio, one's an emerging markets ETF, and the other one is the S&P 500, one of the you know many S&P 500 ETFs that exist out there. Now, number three, we have Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, which is not an ETF. That's a stock. You guys probably know Procter & Gamble, Consumer Staples, is the sector that that's in. So he owns just under 5 million shares of Procter & Gamble, 4.8 million to be exact at $700 million market value. And that's 4.2% of his portfolio, 4.23% to be exact. And he added 184,000 shares recently as of the last 13F filing. So the thing is, guys, with Ray Dalio, as opposed to, let's say, somebody like Warren Buffett, Buffett's in 50%. 50% of his portfolio is in Apple. You guys probably know that. Whereas Ray Dalio's way more diversified. He's not in one stock heavily like, let's say, uh, Buffett is in Berkshire Hathaway, which we've covered Buffett's top holdings on this channel before as well. Maybe I'll do an update you know, the next time the, the next 13F filing comes out. But either way, that's a big difference here. Buffett, 
all in on a couple of stocks, right? Of course, Berkshire has many, many holdings, but it's very top heavy when it comes to looking at Apple and the other holdings that make up like 70, 80 percent of his, uh, you know, uh, the, the holding company in terms of Warren Buffett and Berkshire. Uh, but in this case with Ray Dalio, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty spread amongst a lot of different companies here. So, again, Procter & Gamble is number three. Number four is one that Buffett loves as well, and Dalio owns it. It is Coca-Cola. He owns a little under 9 million shares of Coca-Cola. The market value is $500 million, and that's 3% of his portfolio here of this, you know, the the hedge fund, if you will. And he recently added 781,000 shares of Coca-Cola as of the last 13F. And under Coca-Cola, guys, we have Costco, which Costco just reported earnings and their stocks at all time highs right now. He owns 828,000 shares of Costco, 467 million dollar position at just under 2.85% of his uh, you know, hedge fund here. And recently he added 20,000 shares of Costco, which is pretty, pretty um, interesting there. And I doubt he's going to add more shares or maybe he does. I don't know, but it's near all time highs or it's at all time highs. Now, will he buy more shares at all time highs? Probably not. Uh, but yeah, he's adding as of the last 13 F, which is pretty interesting. If you ask me guys, so Costco's number five, number six, we have none other than Pepsi, guys, another big consumer staples company. He owns 2.68 million shares of Pepsi. $450 million is in Pepsi. 2.7% of the ET or not the ETF. Uh, the uh, the hedge fund is in Pepsi, and he recently added 113,000 shares as of the last 13F. Then under Pepsi, we have Walmart, which is another large cap consumer staples company. He owns 2.69 million shares of Walmart, $430 million in market value, and that's 2.6% of the hedge fund. And recently, guys, he added 129,000 shares of Walmart. So it seems like all of these holdings, the top seven that we just covered so far, he's added to all of these recently, right? It's not like they're just the top holdings. Well, they are the top holdings. It's not like he's selling these or anything or, you know, staying staying with the shares that he owns. He's actually adding to these. So that goes to show the conviction that Dalio and Bridgewater Associates has in these top seven holdings. He's adding to these actively right now walmart pepsi costco coca-cola procter and gamble and those etfs that we covered in the beginning of this video so number eight which is pretty interesting guys i, I don't know if it makes sense to you um, doesn't really make sense to me but he also owns spy which is another s p 500 um etf which actually sold about forty thousand shares of spy recently uh, but still owns a little under a million shares, 995,000 shares to be exact, and that's $425 million of market value or 2.5% of the hedge fund. So he owns SPY, he owns those other two ETFs that we talked about, one's emerging markets, and another one is um, SPY. So he owns three ETFs so far in the top 10. And now let's talk about number nine and number 10. His ninth largest holding is Johnson and Johnson. He owns, let's see, 2.7 million shares at $424 million market value. Two and a half percent of the hedge fund is in Johnson and Johnson. But recently, guys, he trimmed it in a major way. He sold about 14% of his position. He sold 457,000 shares as of the last 13F filing, but still J&J &J is in his top 10 at number nine. And of course, Johnson & Johnson, if you guys didn't know, is a healthcare company. And the number 10 company here, the 10th largest holding in Ray Dalio's Bridgewater Associates heading into 2024, guys, is McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD, which he owns 1.4 million shares of McDonald's. Actually, guys, almost 1.5 million shares at $390 million market value, and he recently bought 63,000 shares, which he increased his position uh, as of the last 13F. So it's pretty interesting, guys. Out of the top 10 holdings that he has, he's increased increasing eight of them, I believe. Yeah, eight, eight of them. He's increasing his ownership, but two of them, Spy and Johnson & Johnson, he's selling out a little bit. He's trimming a little bit 
of those um, holdings. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Those are Ray Dalio's top 10 stocks right now heading into 2024 in his hedge fund Bridgewater Associates. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks. It's free to do that, guys. And before you click off the video, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, Moo, each up to $2,000. Use that link down below and open up your account and fund it with at least $100. You get five stocks, each up to $2,000. And if you fund your account at least $1,000 for a limited time, the clock's ticking on top of those five stocks. You you get 10 more stocks, each of those up to $2,000 as well. So use that Moomoo link down below. Get your stocks, guys. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next video.